Hey guys, what's up? So I'm on a roll today, just kind of doing these videos. Whatever. Um, prepping. Prepping. You know these people who prep? Um, like they buy a whole bunch of water bottles, they buy a whole bunch of food, whatever. Look, I'm pro-prepping. Joseph was a total prep at what? He rescued his people in the seven years of uh, famine, during the seven years of plenty when, you know, God gave them the, that dream, gave um, Pharaoh that dream. And so Joseph prepped. I'm pro-prepping, but only when it is the right season and time and era to prep. The Lord would have let us know to do such a thing as that in the last days uh, prior to his rapturing of the church, if that's what needed to happen. Preppers have this folly about their lives. We are living in a world that is becoming increasingly megalomaniacal, leadership anyway. It is becoming increasingly desirous to just coo us with all of their power, since absolute power corrupts, absolutely. That's where we are at. Uh, look at what's going on in the Netherlands, all right, where it is that farmland, up to 30%, is being forcibly cooed, usurped, taken, just stolen, basically, making like a bandit, because they think they're pink panther, okay, from farmers. Of course, they lament and stuff but look at who is supporting the agenda against the Netherlands it is the World Economic Forum uh, and men and women who belong to the elite within this ra uh, ra sorry who belong to the elite within this like conglomerate of bandits pink panther um, are supportive of this level of totalitarian control over their people to a point of implementing such ludicrous uh, policies in their own countries like Justin Trudeau of Canada where during that trucker pro protest you will remember that uh, yeah back some time ago they l deliberately froze people's GoFundMe pages because of the fact that they stood for this trucker protest where they were lamenting against whatever was happening with the supply chain, etc. No, and, and then they also go on and call them terrorists. And let's just put that out there. So preppers, all right, you are these individuals that are, you know, storing for yourself some wheat, some maize, you know, bottles of water, canned foods whatever okay yeah look i'm i'm not against you i, I, I anticipate or envision you as ones who are quite wise because you're kind of like josephic but if you study the scriptures you will know that in the last days things are going to be incredibly harsh against the church in totality the bible says that blessed are the persecuted that the body of the believers is going to be increasingly afflicted as the eras of, uh, of the human race comes to a tapering close, they will hand you over to be killed. Do you understand? The day is coming when those who afflict you will think they're doing a service to God. Christian persecution is on the ramp up and human liberties, however much we might be used to them today, because our countries are free wherever it is that we live, that where the country's democracies are thriving, like South Africa. Whatever, South Africa, you're whack. You've broken my heart. Anyway, right, oh, so South Africa is allegedly a free country. The United States, free nation, Canada was once upon a time, Australia, um, many of the countries in Europe, I could go on. Free nations, where insofar as you've got the zaga, the dollar, the moolah, to do so, you can prep. You can do what you want. You can live on a big fat plot of land and plant seeds for yourselves and grow them. However, have you not noticed recently, thanks to, I don't know, a little bit of a big head phenomenon going on in the global elites, People deliberately being withheld from purchasing seeds so they could plant. They are literally regulating the purchase of seeds so they can make sure that you cannot plant certain things. So you there who owns a massive vineyard in Cape Town, you there who has this wild orchid in like, um, I don't know, give me a place, Stellenbosch, wherever you might be at, the day is gonna arrive. Wealthy farmers, um, of various nations where your nations are going to be like forcing you forcing you to give over a percentage of your produce if not all of it and they're also going to make sure that you cannot plant certain seeds so it doesn't matter that you are this wealthy old money white man in Cape Town that has a vineyard do you understand it won't matter if you don't belong to the global elites it will not matter anymore you, you will deliberately be taken from you some of your livestock if you have animals and your produce if you have got fruits and vegetables and you are not going to be able to successfully prep the time has arrived in the history of the human race where we can no longer plan for the unforeseen so we can be safe when calamity strikes because these days they make like martial law and step into your household your farm your grocery your, your little uh amish community where you're growing your own you know 
like stuff and they're just like no we're gonna take 30 percent of it and then it's gonna become 50 and then it's gonna be like you can't farm anymore why do you think bill gates is purchasing so much farmland the united states has apparently got so much farmland that it can feed the whole planet planet right if at all they were actually to till the ground and like grow stuff on there and yet people are starving all across the world and uh humanitarian organizations are struggling to feed countries that historically have needed such aid like sudan where they are taking money not money sorry but food from the hungry and giving it to the starving they are literally choking up supply chains to make sure that food does not get to you so not only are they thwarting the production of food they're purchasing land one individual man or two individual men and women are purchasing such massive patches of land and then regulating those lands with stinginess such that everybody else cannot eat anymore as a they are deliberately creating a global food crisis why would the lord pour out his wrath in the seven seals the four horsemen of the apocalypse one of which is the horse of famine why would the lord go and like lamb based the human race with famine as a means of judgment it is because the human race is in and of themselves participants in the mutiny against themselves by culling themselves the lord like you know will wish fulfillment self-fulfilling prophecies the lord has a way about throwing them spinning them back at people again think about how it is that at the end of by the end of the tribulation two-thirds of the world's population will be dead i i, I keep saying Wubuti, bill gates and them are going to cover envy god with the way that he will have been so successful at depopulating the earth but the depopulation of god is because of the sin of man that is destroying the earth it is explicitly written in revelation that the lord will destroy those who destroy the earth and so he is calamitizing the whole planet because the planet has calamitized itself god is like okay so fine bill gates they trust you klaus schwab they trust you haval herrera whatever your name is they trust you they trust you there at your world economic forum even though you're about to die klaus schwab has got these like grandiose ideas but he's old i don't know what's going on he won't even be here to fulfill what he's done but they have this whole genealogy thing where they believe they can just hand me down a wicked agenda just like many of the secret societies of the past so i guess that's what he's doing all of these men are trusted they're believed nobody is boycotting them or at least they are trying but with limited success with limited prosperity so if you continue to let, let such wicked men thrive what then god does is hand them to you as kings he gives them to you as leaders he lets you get destroyed by your own kings and leaders that you have seen it fit to not lament against even though you moan on the ground so he will basically give you what they want he will cull the earth since it's what you wanted he will bring down the numbers to a small what you call manageable number a third of the human race is going to be alive by the end of the tribulation however initially first a quarter is going to get destroyed with the sealed judgments and then the rest of the numbers that are going to dwindle follow going forward there with the bold judgments and the trumpet judgments that will proceed in the book of revelation the lord is going to hand the human race over to their reprobate minds by giving them what they want god is like oh so you think culling um goodness like what a two a third of the human race's population is actually a huge number in comparison to what these global elites want they want um 500 million to a billion people tops at least the lord is going to leave uh, uh what is this a third which is more like two point something billion remaining out of the eight billion that are on the earth right now god will then tell them okay so you want to depopulate because you literally thoroughly believe the earth is overpopulated anybody that stands on this doctrine you will be given what you want there are human beings that stand with what is being spoken at the world economic forum despite not being global elite it's only those of us who are conspiracy theorists and those of us who are a little bit smarter than the regular man on the street and so we kind of look at world news we see there's something weird that lament against this but there are people that listen to klaus speaking and they're like they listen to bill gates speaking and they're like hmm they listen to these random fools and they're like hmm. god is gonna be like oh so you think that like literally killing two-thirds of the earth's population sorry more like more than a more than two-thirds it's more like like um seven eighths with these guys you want them gone fine i will show you i will deli i will literally give you what you wanted and see if you like it watch all that blood get shed and see if you don't get a dystopian society where there's nothing but trauma and sadness all over the show all the best